Well, 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 my pets. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are all rainbows and lollipops. I assure you, we're quite nasty. Grota, sir, I have news. Report at once! You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature? You must speak, soldier! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. And there's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustached dude in a red hat with blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me, Mario? Oh, no. <laughs> I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not. I'll know about him before long. That I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir! And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand, she is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crumb. If this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely that he'll find the crystal star we're hunting for in Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh, sure. Roger Grotus, and with that, pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. x not I summon you! You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You rang, sir? Grotus, dude? Grotus? Sir, Grotus, sir? Shut up! Go get the Shadow Sirens over here! The... the Shadow Sirens, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool! Go get them now! Gotcha! The Honorable Grotus need of us, then we arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Belda. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There are too many praying eyes. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we needed to do was find Mario and steal his map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the X-Not plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, Hear me, Beldum. You, Shadow Sirens, must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall retreat with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Merlin, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do.
wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. For free. So yes, unlike in Mario RPG, we actually get to play as Peach in certain areas in the game. Like, certain parts of the game, and, and like, in between every chapter, we're able to play as Princess Peach. And, uh, find out her story. She's been kidnapped by a strange team of people named the x Knots, and... Yeah, they're holding her hostage in an unknown location. We have no idea where she is. We don't know where she is, but in here, at least they're nice enough to give their kidnapped, uh, a bathroom. Like, their victim, I guess? Look, she has a bathroom, a sink, she has toilet paper, and she has a shower. She even has her own shower. This is, you know, they're pretty nice for kidnappers. Like, she has a bedroom, she has a shower, she has everything that she needs in here. And when I say something cool, you can actually take a shower. What a lovely shower. What a lovely shower. No soap skin. No soap skin even. Scum? Scum, I said. Not scum. What the hell? Well, I wonder if it works. Oh, God. I just realized I, I, just realized I have to do this peach voice. Oh, no. Man of a free. Oh, hee hee. For free. No, we do not get to see Peach naked. Don't. It's an E-rated game, everyone. We do not get to see Peach naked. But what happens is, when she takes a shower, she's smiling, she has blush on, and her hair's in a ponytail. So it's pretty cool. See? You get a nice up-close view at her ponytail. So it's cool. Mana's very happy for someone who just got kidnapped. At least she got a nice shower before, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what happens. So, yeah, I was actually wrong. I said that, wait, ooh. And, and, and her, her ponytail's gone. Yeah, I forgot. Hmm, what was that? Hey, that's odd. The, the doors, they open by themselves. So yeah, Mana's still gonna play a role in the story. She's actually gonna play a more important role than Mario RPG. It shows that she has more than two lines. Look at that, she's talking a lot more. She already has more lines than Mario uh, Odyssey. Uh, RPG, I mean. Mana's already talking a lot more. So yeah, so Mana still has a role in the story and she's still playable to an extent. And she's allowed to just walk around. Thought she was supposed to be secured in her room, but I guess not. Weird, it doesn't look like anyone's around. The British man, for free. Uh, yeah, there's a long hallway to walk down, and ooh. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Yeah, usually you need like a card key to get through, and what the hell. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What was that? Who said that? Where are you? Hurry. How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am Tech-XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Groot has created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait. He's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. My voice is... My voice is dying. This peach voice is killing me. <coughs> but I doubt I'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure. An unusual... Program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain security malfunctioned and I nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran a diagnostic programs. I ran some diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I wanted to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you wanted to observe me? To know more about me? 
I guess Tech was observing her when she was taking a shower earlier. I'm sorry, Mana. I'm very sorry, Mana. Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. Your... Your computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because it's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I cannot understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe it's possible that, well, you're in love with me. Love, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how can I explain it? It tells me you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you'll do anything to help. When he and she, when he or she is in trouble, free. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insignificant. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. The Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel the thing you call love? What? Your computer? How could you ever care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you, in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. Are you insane? You ex-jerks kidnapped me like common coopers! And you call me here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen! You'll grant my wishes? HA! Whoa, why should I believe you? Oh my god, this Peach voice is absolutely killing me. I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me how. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay. Here it goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course, you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? What other keyboard? All right. Let me give these a shot. For free. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you again when I want to ask you something. Um... Okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. That was so weird. That was really weird. The computer. Computer and human princess made of paper cards. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Bowser, the almighty Koopa King has arrived! Hold your applause, minions! Now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hay! Why'd you summon me?
Uh, Great Lord Bowser, sir. The uh, crusty hag uh, Kami Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait over there at the rear of the room. Rear, you say? So we can actually control Bowser. Yes, there's also Bowser segments. He can't jump, can't... He can breathe fire. Okay, so we can play as Bowser. No stats, no nothing, but we can play as Bowser. So it's not only Peach. The other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Who, I tell you. The look on his face when he was mooning over that thing. Huh? Eee, Lord Bowser! Well, I'm just dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share! So Bowser does have a sense of humor. He, I mean, he, I know it's sarcasm, but still, he, he's clipping through the thing. That's kind of weird. Lord Bowser, I have training to do. Okay, he's just talking about training. I, uh, it's super. In that case, I'll already use some sit-ups, Tubby. Oh, I already do sit- Wow. Bowser, you're the one to talk. Look at you! Your arms! Look at your arms! You look like a T-Rex! You're T-Rexing, man! You have no room to say anything. You, you, you can't say, Tubby. You, you, you're T-Rexing, man. Don't be so mean. I know you're the king, but- Oh my god. Ah, Lord Bowser! Oh my god. I've just now returned. Sorry to keep. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. Your, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. At my disposal, I report that Mario, that that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. You're gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh! Oh, yes. You see, my lord, apparently Mario's hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure Yes, Mario's gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm, I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question they're high in value. Oh my god, my voice is, at my voice is going because of the Peach voice. The crystal stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them! Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Eggs. Honey and then egg. Wait, no, it's the wrong... Wait, she didn't do it in the British voice. Honey and then egg for free. Uh... You bet I do. Do I? Lo I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario the recall, and I, I, stopped at a, I stopped at a lovely place called Metal Pedal. Metal. Pedal Metals. Pedal Metos. And I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! A picnic? You moron! There's no time for- this is no time for fun! You see, this is why my evil plans always derail. Because you clods always goof off! Urgh! Oh dear Lord Bowser, please calm down! Remember your blood pressure! Hmm? What's that? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. What? It is true? Lord Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rawport! Whoa, 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 whoa! Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who would do such a thing? Besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The estimation's on. The... The investigation's ongoing. But one thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I've got to kidnap her back. Okay, 
So, as you can see, Bowser plays a role in Story 2, and he's very, very funny. So, so Bowser is going to be like the comic relief kind of guy. He's very, very funny, has a lot to say, and I'm, I think you guys, for those of you who haven't played this game and don't know the story, you're in for a treat, because this is really, really good. You're in for a treat? You're in for a treat, because this is very, very, like, this game's very, very charming. It's full of life and character. It's just, it's, it's really, it's really good. Coops, my lad, are you telling me to go with Mario? But that Mario... Um, that's right, Dad. I'm gonna continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm... Well, I'm gonna come back a strong Koopa. Like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Coops. That's my boy. Remember this. You are my son, Coops, and I am your father. Coops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Oh, now you're... Now you're fine. Ahem. M -m -m May I add, just any if anything happens to you, you can always come home, Coops. Don't ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Oh, thanks, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know. Farewells. So where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember Mario? The barrier of the magic map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star has its own power. It shall show its own point to the next. So the book says, which means if, if you take them. Okay, so what she's saying is, if we take our stars back to the, uh, like uh, back to the door. They will show us exactly where to go on the map. So let's go. Oh wait, before I do anything, hey, no, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. Before I do anything, I want to switch out Cooper because what a thing I like to do. Every new partner has to go to the Thousand Year Door at least once because because the Goombella was already there when the game first started. She was already there for the for the Thousand Year Door. So now it's Cooper's turn. And then it'll be our next partner, then the next, and the next, and the next, until we don't have any more partners left, and then we can just go back to... We can use whoever we want, really. It's anyone we want. So now, I'm... we have to go and uh, backtrack all the way back to... Ooh, something wrong, Mario. You're, um, shaking. Are you feeling all right? Oh, it's our email from Princess Peach. It's a new mailbox XP, isn't it? Wow, neat! Did you, did you get some mail? My dearest Mario, I sent this letter in hopes that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed. And in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They must be hoping to use it to find the objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it's not anything positive. Mario, please collect these crystal stars before they do. You must! They're already aware that you have the map, so please be careful. Oh my god, please no more of this voice. And please don't worry about me. Princess Peach! My voice is absolutely dying. I can't do Princess Peach this long. Yeah, Peach has a lot of dialogue in this game, for better or for worse. It's good because at least Mana has some uh, dialogue now. Way more than Mario RPG, but... Oh my god, that I can only do that Mana voice for so long. See, if only she were here right now, then she could just do all the voices, or she could do the mana voice for me, but she's not here, unfortunately. If she was, I would. I'd be like, hey, mana, please read all the Peach's dialogue. I can't. My voice is dying. She's here in the game, though, at least. Oh, my God. Now, let's backtrack to Rogueport. I'm going to skip it, because there's no point in showing me go all the way back. Wait, are we already there anyway? Well, you know what? I'm going to skip it anyway. I'll see you guys when we get back to the Thousand Year Door. I'm gonna save though. See you guys in just a bit. One more thing. Since we have our new skinny, our new skinny uh, paper read ability, we can actually go over here. And we can go over here and find out what this little. I didn't. Okay. We can go down this pipe, jump around here in this 2D little area, which is supposed to be easy, easy platforming, and then we can go into this little house right here. Hello. Welcome. I'm Merly. Underground cute as can be. The fortune teller. That is me. Okay, so this is Merly, a fortune teller. Um, 
I don't exactly know what this does. I forgot, but I think... Oh, you know what? You know what she does? She actually tells you where you have to go next. We don't need to do this right now. It's like, if you're lost, you can come here and pay... You can go and pay her, and then she'll tell you exactly uh, what to do. And the more you pay, like, the more detailed she'll say it, I guess. Like, if you pay her, like, five points, she'll be like, Oh, go underground and, and uh, follow a certain path and find a door, and then see see a little thing, go to the thing, and then you're there. But if you pay her, like, 50 coins, she'll tell you exactly what to do word for word. So, yeah. So, if... But the thing is, I say save your coins. If you're actually lost, save your coins, because, you know, you can just go online and look at a Let's Play, like this one. You should watch it. Even though I'm telling you to watch it, even though you're probably watching it right now, which is kind of pointless, but okay! No more battles. We don't need to do, you don't need to do this. All you need to do is get to Thousand Year Door. So I'll see you guys there! Again, All right? And here we are. Now let's put our first crystal star in the little pedestal thing. With coops. Uh, all right, Mario. Hold up the crystal star. Hey, uh, Mario, look there. The next Crystal Star showed up on the map. But, I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue where that is. Oh. To, um, Professor Frankly and let him look at it. I see, I see! Crystal clear! <laughs> so, uh, can you tell us where the next uh, Crystal Star is, or not? It's in the Boggly Woods! The second Crystal Star is inside the Great Tree! A Great Tree in the Boggly Woods, huh? About those woods, uh, I think some odd creatures live there. They look like this. If memory serves as a pipe beneath town that leads to these woods. Are those words? Uh, Professor Frankly, you should probably know it's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are hunting for the Crystal Stars. Oh, and she said that she doesn't know where she's being held. Yeah. No, oh, but Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the Crystal Stars. What do they hope to achieve? You've got a treasure beat. Uh, uh, too many unknowns! Unfortunately, the only clues that we can rely on are the crystal stars on that map. Uh, I guess all we can do is head to Buckley Woods and find out the next crystal star. And find the next crystal star, I mean. Yes, I recommend you do just that. And find it before the princess's capturers do. And don't be hasty. If you're on if you're low on items or health, drop by the shop in the inn first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. Okay, so. Now we know our next location. Ooh! Ooh, Luigi! Well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a coinky dink. Eh? Oh, me? Well, bro, I want an adventure too. I have to rescue a Princess Eclair of the Warful Kingdom. Yes, it's a bad scene. All right. Yes, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been captured by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met some Waffle Candid members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. You want to hear what happened? Uh, it's a pretty long story. Okay, um... Here's the thing. It is a very, very, very long story. And... I would read it now. 
I would read it out loud, but the episode has to come to an end. So you know what? For the first time, just this one time, I'm going to just let it happen and i'll let you guys read it on your own but don't worry i don't, don't call me lazy because all the other stories i guarantee you i will read it i will read them but i'm just gonna rush now because if i read it's gonna take all day and the episode has to end soon anyway so i'm just gonna let you guys read this on your own so uh yeah waffle kingdom letter here you go so enjoy this nice little story and uh yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit after you're done reading. You can pause, you can do whatever, and yeah. So enjoy the story, I guess. Okay, so that was Luigi's story. So, yeah, Luigi's on his own adventure too, and this seems to be his hub world as well. That's interesting. But before I do anything, remember all those uh, shine sprites we've actually collected throughout the chapter? Here is what you do with them. Let's talk to this guy right here. This is Merlin, the super magnificent. I didn't read it, I pressed the button, it's my own fault. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partner. So it's just like the original, the original uh, Paper Mario. You can actually power up each of your partners with a special block, but here they're all in the hub world. Unfortunately, I only have three, so I'm going to have to choose between to power up Koops or Goombella. I'm going to go with Koops because he's a stronger partner. But don't worry, there are more Shine Sprites that we can actually find in the hub world too, so I'll probably do that off camera and then I'll power up uh, Goombella too because, you know, we got to be fair, so... Here's what you're doing. Nice little cutscene, and now Koops is completely powered up. Look how proud he is. All of his stats have been buffed greatly. And I think each character can be... Like, I think each character has, you know, can be powered up twice. So, that's pretty cool. So, let's take a look at his stats, actually. Yeah, his HP is up, and now he's rank 1. His pa and look, he has he learned a new attack called Shell Shield. Shelled she Shell Shield. And yeah. There's more uh, shine sprites in the hub that I can actually find for Goombella later, so and I will do that off camera, so don't worry, Goombella. For you Goom Goombella fans, I will find more shine sprites as soon as I can. So don't worry about that. 
It's just that Goomba is not really important right now, so we don't really need to power up right now. So, with that all said, of this long episode of really no gameplay and all story, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Soup uh, of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. And if you guys enjoyed, please do not forget to leave a like, subscribe, favor, and comment. Um, how are you guys enjoying like the uh, the different Peach and Bowser segments? Do you like them? Personally, I like them. There's one peach area that gets really, it's just really tedious and boring, but other than that, I think it's pretty cool. And however, it got me stuck this game, like, like it had me stuck on that area for a long time as a kid, so I didn't really like that. But it's still a good game, still pretty hilarious. I like Bowser more because his are a lot more entertaining, as you're going to see a bit later in, in, into the story. So, uh, yeah. But that all said, I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next episode. So, I screwed it up. I was gonna say something funny, but I screwed it up. Ah! See you guys later, guys. See you guys later, guys.